So, Eric Maple was a, a British folklorist uh, who had some repute in uh, folklore kind of circles and that. Uh, is probably most famous for writing books anonymously. There's, there's some books that I'll just put them on the screen. Here we go. Get ready for nostalgia now. There we go. Yeah. Mr. Maple wrote some of the wonderful Osborne guides that got a lot of us into horror and spooky things at an early age. But it's uh, it's three books that Pam published that I want to look at and something else after that. Poor Mr. Maple did suffer a little bit. Um, so in 1960... In 1962, Pan uh, published The Dark World of Witches by Mr. Maple. Let's just blurb it first. Witches who claim to have had intercourse with the devil and describe their experience. The macabre charms used to ward off witches. The horror of the medieval tortures and executions. Hundreds of women hanged or set ablaze on tar barrels. The Dark World of Witches is a comprehensive history of British witchcraft which incorporates information that has never before appeared in print, the results of original research by the author. It is a book to chill the blood. Reading at times like horror fiction, it is, on the contrary, all too terribly true. Uh, and then, in 1964... There was the realm of ghosts, which is I'm I'm not necessarily going to blurb it actually because it's just a list of the chapter names uh, on the back, which isn't that exciting. I just want to read a bunch of stuff, but it's uh, it's interesting and illustrated and very cool. Um, and then in 1966, we got the domain of devils. Um, there is actually a quote from the Yorkshire Evening Post on the back. This is not a book to be undertaken lightly, for it is a grim record of all the werewolves, vampires, demons and witches that have haunted man from the dawn of time. It is a tale to freeze the blood, said the Yorkshire Evening Post. But the actual book blurb is uh, as follows. Those mysterious devils, the incubi and succubi, which created such havoc in medieval monasteries, inflaming the inhabitants with the dreams, with dreams of the wildest lust. Those fiends in human shape, the inquisitors, persecuted with the most dreadful tortures, those who were accused of devil worship. The torture and burning of witches, which spread from the continent to rage with unabated fury in the British Isles. Satanism and the terrible rites performed in our own time by those who celebrate the unspeakable Black Mass. These are only a few of the subjects graphically described by Eric Maple, TV and radio personality, also author of The Dark World of Witches and The Realm of Ghosts. So yeah, Mr Maple was something of a celebrity and... Uh, his his books are well researched and very interesting and even though it's factual, kind of lurid enough to keep your interest. Um, they're definitely not fiction, obviously. Uh, there's his. Uh, they are they they're well written. All the facts are there with a peppering of uh, yeah, kind of grim and gruesome bits and sinister cults and all that. I find him enough to keep me interested. My least favourite one was the ghosts one although there were some cool some cool chapters um as you as i've said before i also collect uh weirdly enough newspaper articles and clippings from the 60s and 70s that cover uh this kind of horrific witchcraft boom uh when we were all told that our neighbor was uh some devil worshiper and we're going to try and get us into their coven um and I've actually got an article about Eric Maple. Now, I'm not sure what magazine it's from. It's uh, it's either Titbits or... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Reveille? Revi, Re Reveille? Not really sure. Uh, 
Rev Revely. Anyway, that was a popular uh, British, almost like sensationalist magazine at the time. Um, and Mr. Poor Mr. Maple does suffer. Um, the headline is one of my most beloved headlines in the world ever. Never stick pins in a jelly baby. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but there's a couple of uh, instances of wonderful journalistic writing. So, uh, as a little bit of an, seeing as we missed out one blurb, I thought I'd read some of this article, uh, and we can get a little insight into the daily life of poor Mr. Maple. It was the incident of the black jelly baby that first made people suspect that benign, bespectacled 49-year-old Eric Maple of the North Thames gas board was a witch in civil servant's clothing. But when I tracked Mr Maple down at his home in Buckingham Road, Wanstead, Essex, he was quite cross with me. He'll be even crosser when he sees pretty much his address printed in a national magazine. His reputation as a wonder worker grew after he made a study of weird goings on in bygone ages and began to broadcast regularly on ancient legends and superstitions. Two office girls who heard him on the BBC record magazine Roundabout came to see him and asked him to put a hex on their boss. They thought it would relieve their pent up resentment against him. Chanting diabolical incantations and waving his arms like a sorcerer, Mr. Maple christened a black jelly baby in the name of the boss and stuck pins in it. The following day, the boss arrived, very late at the office. His face was smothered in sticking plaster and he limped prodigiously. He'd fallen off his bicycle onto some spiked railings. You could have killed him, one of the girls later accused Mr. Maple in a horrified whisper. You could have killed him. So yeah, poor old, uh, poor old Eric Maple got harangued by the press. Um, there's another bit about further on in the article, which uh, is just a bit of strange writing. I just want to include it. Less hardy types crossed the road when they saw Mr Maple coming. One nervy spinster hid behind a tree until he was out of sight. Poor Eric. He couldn't even admire flowers, for when a neighbour caught him looking at her potted plant, she exclaimed half in jest, Don't look at it, Eric. It will die. But it was too late. The damage had been done. The next day the luxuriant leaves hung limply, like drowned spaniel's ears. Yeah. <laughs> Good descriptive writing there. Poor old, uh, poor old Eric. Uh... I mean, it's it's from the it's definitely an article from the sixties, even though I'm not sure what magazine it's from. Um, you, you can it, it came with a load of other articles from the sixties, and it's it's a bit of a shame, really, because they're trying to make something out of nothing. Eric Maple was not any kind of witch or sorcerer; he was a folklorist, and it's quite typical of journalism of that period that they can't distinguish between. Uh, uh, like a pagan, a Wiccan, a folklorist, they're all just Satanists and uh, and devil worshippers and they live next door to you. I'll do I will do more on this. There's a couple of kind of series of articles that I want to I want to look at. So yeah, that's uh, that's poor old Eric Maple, kinda of bullied by at least one journalist to uh, to get the readership. But he gave us the beautiful Usborne books, which, yeah, for a lot of us were, were an introduction to uh, sinister goings on. So that's, that's it for that video. Uh, I hope you join me in the next one, and thank you for watching.